Stay tuned, we're going to demonstrate a working acoustic thermometer using this Tech 547 from the 1960s. We're here today to talk about how to use an oscilloscope to measure room temperature. An oscilloscope is a time domain instrument, so a good question might be, how do you use a time domain instrument to measure room temperature? The answer is by utilizing acoustic thermometry. Acoustic thermometry relies on the temperature-dependent delay time through a medium. This is a block diagram of what we're going to show here today. We have an ultrasonic transducer, which gets hit with a start pulse which sends an acoustic pulse down a path. It bounces off a hard surface at the end of this path and comes back to the transducer. At the same time we launch the pulse, we set a flip-flop, which sets an output pulse width high. When the pulse returns, it's very small, but we have a great deal of wideband gain here, which goes through a trigger and resets the flip-flop, ending the pulse width. The pulse width is proportional to the delay time down the acoustic temperature path and variation due to temperature. Here we are with a test setup. We're using a 1960s era Tektronix scope set up in delay mode to capture the end of the pulse. Here's the breadboard, all the electronics we need to do the measurement. Here's our acoustic path, which is a bottle of Reese's olives with the olives removed, and a transducer removed from an old Polaroid SX70 located in the top. It's set up in delay mode to subtract out most of the offset of the pulse. What's left is the last 5 or 10 degrees. We're at 1 degree F Fahrenheit per box on the screen here. What I do now to demonstrate is we're going to blast the olive bottle with this spray freeze can. Okay, so here we are at 70 degrees F, 1 degree F per box. Now I'll start spraying the pan. Takes a while for the cold to soak in, but when it does, the trace begins to move across the screen at 1 degree F per box. There, we've moved about 7 to 10 degrees. Use a hair dryer to take the enclosure hot and bring the trace back the other way. I'll turn on the hair dryer now and heat up the pad. And you can see the trace coming back as the pad heats. A good question might be, what use is an acoustic thermometer? Well, acoustic thermometers are, con are usually used in places where normal sensors cannot survive, like tumbling, rough environments, nuclear reactors, and places where you have to determine temperature very fast across a long path. 